Okay, so you're going to take us through your entire illustration process. Yeah, from digital doodle right on up through the pencils, inks, and watercolors. And you're going to use the new Planet of the Apes movie to do it. Proximus Caesar, mm -hmm. the villain of the piece. <sighs> what a wonderful day this is going oh boy. to be. <laughs> All right, so that hulking goon <laughs> I loosely sketched in Clip Studio Paint uh -huh. was just kind of a gesture drawing. Oh, yeah. A real loose sketch of what direction I want to head in with this pose. Okay. It's kind of a confident slouch, mm. at rest, but ready to throw down. And there he is now, mm -hmm. Proximus Caesar. Yeah, I pulled in some reference photos so I could get a better handle on his features. At this stage, it's still fairly loose, okay. but I'm just getting comfortable with the pose and the expression. And I think most people know this trick. Flip the canvas. Flip the canvas. Check your pose. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things look awkward when you flip them. Right? I decided I didn't like the pose of the arms, so I redrew some parts, and I used the Select and Transform tools in Clip Studio Paint to repose other parts. Just trying to get it into the shape you want it. Exactly. Now, as I take another run at refining this ape's facial expression further, I should probably point out that you don't need to do this stage digitally. Oh, right. Like, if you don't have access to a drawing app, you can just do all this with paper, pencil, and eraser. Mm -hmm. You just draw lightly, and you make corrections as you go along. Drawing lightly is easier to erase. Yeah, it's easy to erase. You don't want to erase a hole in your paper. <laughs> right. And that's why I like doing this stage digitally. Mm -hmm. You save paper, you save erasers, you save pencils. You can keep changing and adjusting uh -huh. as you go. You have your references right there on screen. That's nice. Anyway, I just use this final digital stage to refine the drawing and get it ready for print. Okay. And once it's printed, I put it on a light pad or a light box, mm -hmm. and I do even more refining with the pencil on paper. So, are you excited to see Kingdom of the Planet <laughs> of the Apes? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have seen every Planet of the Apes movie they ever made. Ever. The original run mm -hmm. and the reboot. Right. So we can't not see And you've the seen the old TV show. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the old TV show, mm -hmm. and I've seen the animated cartoon series. <laughs> right. I'm deep in. It's in right, my so, brain. And we've liked them all so far. Yeah, and I'm intrigued by the new human character, May, oh, I think. Oh, yes. And the Noah character. Right. And this guy, mm. this Proximus Caesar goon, <laughs> yes. who seems very powerful, yeah. and very charismatic, right, and unsettlingly malevolent. Yes. And those things, unfortunately, as you know, often go hand in hand. They do. So with the penciling, I'm putting in a little more detail than I did with the digital sketch. Okay. Maybe just indicating where I might want some heavier shadows mm. and where I might want it to look like the light is hitting him. Okay. But I'm leaving a lot of detail and texture for the inks because I don't want to just trace and trace and trace. Right. Like a robot. Yeah. I want to give myself an idea of where things go, but then I want to be able to move the brush and the pens around more naturally to uh, lay down the ink more organically when I ink it. Makes sense. So finally, we get to the inking. Mm -hmm. And I'll put all the tools and materials down in the info. As usual. As usual. Yeah. But what's not usual, by the way, uh -huh. I'm using cold press watercolor paper here. Oh. Uh, and Because I thought it would take the wash and the watercolors better. Right, yeah. But it's got that tooth on it. The tooth. You can see it. Yeah. Uh, even in the video. And that usually makes the line inking more of a chore. Right. Uh, especially with those teeny tiny little microns I'm using uh, for the facial details. I think it looks great. Well, I mean, I'm glad it looks okay. Yeah. Uh, because it feels awful. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. It's the drawing equivalent of getting sand in your bathing suit. <laughs> oh, no. It's just not... I like it when it feels smooth. Right. I like it when it goes down smooth and it mm -hmm. looks smooth. I'm trying everything I can here to guide the pen over the bumpy paper and yep. avoid this looking like I drew it in the back seat of a moving vehicle. <laughs> but now I'm going to try to do the rest of this thing with brushes. And that's better. It's well, the fine liner nibs, they're they're hard, they're firm. Well, you know right. this because you've done this during your ink it or stink it <laughs> challenges. Yes. Those fine points can get knocked off course Ugh. by the tooth of the paper if you're not careful. Yes. Especially that 003. Right? But you can load the brush with more ink. Okay. And the bristles aren't a hard, firm point like the fine liners. Right. They're 
I mean, while they're a brush, mm-hmm. and they flow a little easier over the texture of the paper. It would be smoother with a hot press paper mm. or Bristol board, right? But this isn't too bad as long as you have enough ink in your brush. Oh, okay. Anyway, that's part of what I've learned from trying it these last few years. I think the more you do it, the easier it gets. Because you get used to it. Yeah, and with any luck, the images turn out better. I think when I do the ink it or sink it challenges, Mm -hmm. this is one of the hardest parts for me. What now? Inking lines with a brush. Ah. I still have a lot of trouble alternating pressure to get the thin to thick lines. Yeah. It's something you definitely have to practice with. Plus my hands shake because I'm terrified. (laughs) (laughs) Luckily, I don't draw for a living. Okay. But it would be nice to figure it out. Yeah. And and I should practice more too. Mm -hmm. I could be better at it. Maybe more bold in my choices. Maybe more dynamic in these lines. But, you know, some of that is also a style thing for me or a scale thing, depending on the picture. I don't think this ape looks too bad in any case. No, I like him. Okay, Major, this is your favorite part. Yeah? Washing the ape. (laughs) Right. This is where I I intensify where the areas of light and shadow are. Mm -hmm. I would do a little texturing on his fur and that weird collar thing he wears. (laughs) I'm hoping they explain where he got that thing in the movie. Uh, Yeah. Can the apes sew at this point in their evolution? I don't know if they sew. It looks intimidating. Yeah. And regal. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, But I'm kind of hoping that it's part of an old costume that some Atlantic City showgirl wore in a review. (laughs) You know, just something fun and goofy that undercuts his authority somehow. If you stuck around this long, thanks for watching the video. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah, and it's always nice when people come by and watch mm-hmm. and comment. Yes. And I should also mention how much we appreciate our Patreon supporters. Yes. A nicer group of people uh, you will not find uh, on are this they, planet. Are you drawing our other. Patreon no, supporters as apes? Am I? <laughs> how do you know I'm not just randomly posting names uh-huh. and ape doodles? Did you clear this with anyone? All right, first of all, I don't have to clear anything with anybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> Second wow. of all, how do you know that, that this isn't exactly what our Patreon supporters look like? <laughs> I don't. In those tiers, anyway, yeah. in those tiers. I don't know about everyone, but, right. well, there's a chance. Uh, we have something in common with apes, right? Yeah. We are just, we're a branch off the same tree. Mm-hmm. I embrace my ape heritage, Michelle, <laughs> as should you. Yes. Okay, the final part of the process, watercolor. Watercolor on top of ink wash. Yes, and I looked at a bunch of reference photos of Proxima Caesar. Okay. And I think he's a gray primate. Yeah. But I also wanted to try to blend in some flesh tones into his face Mm. and not just paint a dull gray color. Yeah, Just add a little life to him. And I think it worked out. Yeah. And then you dropped a bunch of watercolor in the background. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'd like painting around that crown thing. You think I did? <laughs> I considered using masking fluid so that I could right. just do a nice smooth wash behind him and then mm-hmm. peel it up. But in the end, I thought a more cloudy, violent looking sky would uh-huh. fit the piece better. Okay, let's see how it all turned out. Oh, I like it. Mm. Very menacing. Yeah. His eyes are freaking me out. Yeah, he looks angry Mm -hmm. and powerful. Yeah. And that was my goal. I like it. I like it. I I, I think it's not too bad. Yeah. And I think he would say, what a wonderful illustration. (laughs) And that was your whole process. Yeah. From digital sketch to finish watercolor. Yeah. And that's how I do it. And Mm -hmm. sometimes I do it a little different. It depends on the piece or my mood. But, you know, we like watching process videos Mm -hmm. and, you know, we figure there's other people out there like us. Right. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. I did. All all right. Well, that's that's one. Yes. (laughs) 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 (laughs)